I wish I had one since I said you were Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. What's up, everybody on uh, Facebook? How y'all doing today? Welcome, 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 welcome to the show. I got uh, a nanny here with me today. She came out of her uh, office and Ari came out of her office to hang out with this old boring guy. We love no. you, Sam. We love y'all too, man. You <laughs> see how they do me? Yeah, we love you, Sam. They get ready to go on lunch and, you know, they do all the fun stuff. <laughs> we help make you look good. Uh, well, yeah, yes, you all do. Y'all do. That I will say. That's why y'all y'all here today because, you know, just my face on here is not going to do it. It's not going to do it. We need somebody to tune in. And we need y'all two cents to help us in, with today's reality hour. Uh, this here, my friend, I'm tripping because I, I really I really can't believe um, – I really, I really can't believe that people are still snooping through phones. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes. Y'all got quiet on that. <clears throat> I'm not a snooper. Okay. Okay, before we really get started, can a man or a woman, can your mate make you look? Like, can they make you look through the phone? Through their phone? Make you like You're right. Me. Can like, they can they do something that makes you say, you know what? I'm about to look through. I your gotta phone. look through your phone. Yes. Okay. When a call come in past midnight and they don't pick up, oh, I'm looking. Oh, you gotta look through the phone now. Yes. <sighs> you don't just you don't just ask who that was. What if he doesn't answer back? What if he be like nobody? What do you mean nobody? Who is nobody? Oh, exactly. exactly. So so the reason that you go look. Right. That still don't give you the reason to look. You just, you know. Well, I think I think that if you are in a relationship with somebody, you guys live together or whatever, mm -hmm. out of respect for their relationship, you should not call after a certain time unless it's an emergency. And that's Agreed. a friend, co-worker. Uh -huh. You shouldn't be calling that person's phone, let's say, after 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be calling after 11 So 11 o'clock is that's too much. Well, it kind of it depends. depends. Like if it's yeah. if it's something that is work related, it depends on your job. If it's work related, okay, cool. We're, we're entertainment, so our phones ring all the time. Sure. They do. They do ring all the time. Um, but I think that it's, it's the boundaries that you set up with your mm -hmm. coworkers or your friends to know, hey, don't call after this time. You know, I'm with my significant other. Mm -hmm. And I haven't even read this yet. Wait, wait till oh, I read. Lord, I'm nervous. Uh, wait till I read this to you. All right. And then I always say this: you should always, before you do that, um, you should know what you're going to do before you. You have the what if. Yeah, yeah. You have to. Yeah. Because the what's the saying? Um, you always when you go looking for stuff. You always find You're going to find it. Like that. So once you do, what you going to do? If if you look, those watching right now, let's say you you decide to look through your man or woman phone today and you find something. Do you know what you're going to do? Are you only going to question them? Especially if it's the obvious. If it's the obvious and then let's say it's a booty pick or it's a, oh. yeah, or it's a pee pick or, 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 you know what I mean? So what are you going to do then? You're just going to ask him and, 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 I mean, you see it. So what are you going to do? If it's a graphic picture, I'll probably react. Okay. Like, I wouldn't even think. But if it's something that seems innocent or that is questionable, I will launch a, a full investigation mm -hmm. before <laughs> bringing it to him. <laughs> a full investigation. A full <laughs> investigation. Who the hell you got to investigate? Myself. <laughs> Everybody got that one friend who know how to bust through all social medias or you know like they find y'all do like, you, oh, yeah, i have one what that is my personal what private investigator right omg there, omg exactly. are you serious every woman has a woman who can just bust through any yes. but men have it too men have it too i ain't got time to be trying no, to figure out passwords like and he knew everything like he, he knew you 
I knew you was texting such and such. Like, how do you know? You didn't have access right. to my phone. We had your phone. We had this conversation probably Uh-oh. like a so, few months ago as friends. Like, yeah, you know, I, I definitely did that. And I still can do that to this day. And I'm like, So, so how, how, how do you do that? I don't know. Of course, he's not going to get the information out, but... He knew, he knew a name and everything. Damn, like, that's, like, that's yeah. Like, that's just that's real plan. scary. That's yeah, real you scary. You might have to get a new phone. Yeah, you might have to get one. <laughs> he ain't my man, so I don't care. Man, <laughs> but he was stuck. But he knew all that. He knew all of that when we were dating. Like it was closer towards the end of our relationship, but he knew. He knew. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right. Well, I'm about to read this, and I want y'all to tell me what you what you think about this. We're going to get some of y'all comments and take calls. 888 She says, my man and I have been arguing lately about things like bills, uh, his going out with his friends too much without me, basically trust issues. Uh, the other night I noticed he was doing the old texting, then turning his phone over thing. Mm-hmm. So when he got mm-hmm. up to take a shower, I looked through his text messages. Mm-hmm. He has been texting his female coworker that is allegedly just a friend um, about our problems and she has been giving him advice some good advice and some of it I didn't like she said if we are having trust issues that's a sign and that maybe he should move out and we work on our problems from different spaces I'm mad that he is talking to another woman about our business am I wrong how do I confront him about it do I tell him I went through his phone or should I make Something up. Ba-da! All right. <laughs> so, it's a little tough, yeah. but at the yeah. same time, um, you talked about the trusting and him telling, talking to the coworker and getting advice and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, you went through his phone. You wouldn't have never knew any of that. So, there's a trust thing right there. You didn't trust mm-hmm. them in the beginning. So, that's, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, did. he may not have know how to approach the situation because men and women don't think the same. Mm -hmm. So he had to go to somebody that he can trust to Mm -hmm. ask for advice. And, you know, like she said, okay, I got good advice, but then I got some, it was, it was some good advice, but then it wasn't some good advice, but he may not have told her everything about their relationship. He might've just told her bits and pieces and she was going off of that to give a decision, but, um, or give advice. So, so how do you feel about getting advice from coworkers? I mean, we do work with each other eight or nine hours a day. Mm-hmm. We see each other five times a week or more. Or more. So, and you probably spend more time. Mm-hmm. Co-workers uh-huh. often because they have more wisdom. Male and female. Yeah. Yep. They Male have and more female. Wisdom mm-hmm. And then they can give me um, advice, you know, from mm-hmm. a different perspective. Right. Yeah. I don't go too deep into the issues. I right, right. Keep it, you know, more surface. surface. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I feel like if it's not, if it's not exposing too much, yeah, I don't see an issue. Yeah. With it. Yeah. I don't know. What you what think, Ari? Right? Uh, for me, like. Like you said, you're around these people every single day. Just, um, your coworkers are like family. Yeah. yeah, your coworkers are like your family. So of course you you develop these relationships with people and yeah. you talk. To them, you get the advice from them because you trust them with the information. Mm-hmm. So I think um, when it comes to dealing with coworkers, it has to be somebody that you know mm-hmm. and that you trust mm-hmm. won't go and spread your business. To other people, whether yeah. that's other coworkers, whether that's them taking it home and yeah. sharing it with somebody else, because yeah. that's not nobody's business. If I'm coming to you and I'm asking for your advice on a situation, I'm mm-hmm. coming to you because I trust you, right? And I would want you to give me the best advice because you're an outsider looking in on a situation, yeah. and it could be helpful. Uh, bias opinion, mm-hmm. um, but I would say I would suggest to her that that she. Confess that you went to the phone and tell him why. Because then here you're not running through. You're not lying on top of a lie mm-hmm. to only find out something. Say, hey, tell him how you felt. Say, the, the fact that you was turning your phone down made me feel. So. And so maybe you might have some insecurities. So but let me ask you. So if a man or woman turn their phone down. 
Does that mean that I'm hiding I'm something? I'm going to use myself for an example. Okay. I'm going to take it back yeah. to an ex, an ex. He okay. used to do that. He used to text, turn his phone over, or he would charge his phone but cut his phone off and then all of a sudden he'll cut it back on and then he'll continue to keep flipping it over uh, and i'm like what you hiding like yeah. who you texting yeah. you don't want me to see who you texting okay cool and later on he was cheating mm. so you was texting and you if we in this relationship mm. what you gotta hide somebody texting you who texting us Right. We mm. in a relationship. Yeah. Who's texting us? But Who's texting you, us? You da da over, so da da. He was cheating. Ooh. Ooh, this is a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. You know, in 2019, cell phones are like people diaries. No. For so. Real. Yeah. Your whole you life. Got exactly. So you do got to respect your whole yeah. life. Your bank account. Mm-hmm. Every, everything, yeah. Ideas we screenshot every little yeah. thing. We take hand. pictures of everything. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a call here. Sam Silk Show. Hello. Yo, Sam Silk. How you doing? Okay, but she's upset and angry because he's telling this other woman their personal business. Yeah, and she's giving good good advice. And in some, she don't like. Yeah, she don't like it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So she's upset and angry because he's telling her personal business. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that they should try marriage counseling. Maybe they should try marriage counseling, but I don't think they're married. She says, she says, my man, which is her boyfriend, they're shacking, they're just staying together. They just, you know, they got a spot together. Yeah. Once you go through that phone, family, you got to make a decision what you're going to do. You mm -hmm. can't, you, you know, it's like you got to know, you know, what if I go through this and I say something? What is your plan? Nine times out of ten, you're going to find something that you wasn't yeah. looking for in the beginning. Yeah. So it's those conversations that you have to have with yourself. Like, okay, if I do this, it's a possibility yeah. I'm going to find this or I'm going to see this or see yeah. that. Um, and you never know. Like, he could have been texting. I mean, we, we obviously know the situation. But yeah. he could have been texting her, asking her for ideas on proposing to her or something. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It could have been something good. And you well, is, 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 does that, how would you feel though if your man was talking to Facebook, respond please, if your man was talking to a coworker that intimate, that much? I would shut that down. After work. <laughs> no. To the, remember, listen to the letter. He texts this woman while they to get while they at home. They text him back and forth. Then he laid the phone down. So in this, the, instead the of talking to his woman. He's talking to this his coworker about them. work or them. them. So I think <laughs> it's disrespectful in a sense, but it also depends on the relationship that you and your coworker have. Mm -hmm. If you guys have a more of a relationship where it's mm -hmm. you know you really like a brother or mm -hmm. a sister to yeah. me, and our significant others or whatever know like right. this. This ain't that. This is my coworker. Right. I look at her like a sister. Right, right, right. I look right. at him like a brother or something. Right. And I know people use the term sister and brother and then end up sleeping with each other. Uh -huh. But if you have that, if you set that up and y'all had that conversation, you know, this is one of my very, very good friends. Yeah. We talk a lot. Mm -hmm. We text a lot. We call. We hang out. You know what I'm saying? Even whether it's work-related, more than likely it's always work-related. But I think that that's just the conversation that you have to have with your significant yeah. other. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, because you've been, you could possibly have known them longer than you've been in this relationship. True. That is very so, true. You know, those are the things you have to consider. Yeah. Share your um, comments and thoughts with your, your friends. Share this video with your friends. Uh, but yeah, but once you go to the phone, it is what it is. You see now, mm -hmm. what you, you going to do about it? Right. Especially I think the stuff that she didn't like is stuff that hurt. Yeah, it probably was. It, it was, was real. The truth. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and sometimes you have to see the truth, and then it's like, dang. Yeah. I really did that, or yeah, I was really yeah, doing that. I right. really could be doing X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Reality sets in. So. Yeah. All right, man. Reality Hour. Thanks much. Tomorrow on the show. Don't forget uh, Raheem Devon, Mark Curry will be hanging out with us as well. Ladies, thank y'all for hanging out with me. No problem. All right, so y'all made y'all made me look good. <laughs>